welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. This is the second video for today and this is an unboxing of Diamond Art Club's The Serene Siren Triptych. I had to check that. Does anybody know what a triptych is? So this is a box that a lot of diamond painters are very familiar with, Diamond Art Club. And uh, the th one of the things that I really like about Diamond Art Club is the fact that they pack their diamond paintings in a box, in a box. So this is the outside box and it is pretty sturdy and then they have another box inside. So the chances of a diamond artwork uh, painting being damaged are very slim. This box is a bit wider than normal because I actually ordered two. But today I am only unboxing one. So that's the outer box. I've already taken the two out just to make things a bit easier for me. So the one that I want to unbox today is this one. And it's called the Serene Siren Triptych. Now, the word triptych, I had never heard before, so I had to Google it. And I found out that a triptych is a piece of art that is split into three sections. Normally it's wood and the two side panels have hinges connecting them to the main piece, but in this case it's on a canvas and as you can see we have the main artwork is in the centre and then we have these two side panels. So that is why it's called a triptych. So a quick look at the box, very sturdy box, uh, very solid and as I said this is inside a box so um, the chances are very very slim of anything being damaged. So they have instructions on the back how it works step by step for anybody that's new to diamond painting. It gives you a guide on how to get started and how to do it. Um, they also have uh, contents, premium uh, premium velvet tarpaulin canvas, oh, wasn't in the picture, uh, colour coded rhinestones, magic diamond applicator, wax pad and craft tray. The other thing that they do is when it's square drills they have a square border and when it's round drills it's a circle. So square drills for this one and it is a biggie. It is 99 centimetres by 55 centimetres. So uh, there's going to be a lot of work in this one. So we'll have a look in the box, see what we get. And the first thing is the goodie bag. Diamond Art Club have their own little bag. It's branded slightly different from anybody else and the, the kit is inside the bag. So we have wax in the shape of a heart. Uh, Diamond Art Club always do this. Most companies will give you a rectangle or a square but Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, Diamond Art Club, Freudian slip, um, they uh, always have heart shaped wax which makes them stand out a bit. So we actually have two in this one. So two hearts and a tray. We also have a diamond painting pen and the squidgy. So the squidgy is this little foam thing that slides over the pen to give you a slightly thicker grip and it's spongy so it's a bit more comfortable to hold. So some people find um, they start to get pains in their hands when they're using the standard pen so 
they've got this little uh, foam piece to try and help uh, make it slightly more comfortable and the only other thing that we get is uh, a few little bags for spare drills so a few bags as well and that's it so that's the oh sorry it's not it just felt something in the bottom we have a multi-placer so for anyone who hasn't done diamond painting before the multi-placer goes in the end the opposite end of your pen and just pushes in and the idea is you can use this to pick up more than one drill so if you have a large area instead of doing uh, the pieces one by one you can fill this with wax and have a row of the same colour and place them this is something that I never use um, I do diamond painting for relaxation so I prefer just to use the single tip and just place every single one uh, one at a time so I don't use multi-placers you get different sized multi-placers as well um, but again just something that, that I don't use personally but I know that a lot of people do use them so that's nice to get it included so that's the, the kit I'll just put everything back in the box I think we can do the drills first so quite a few drills for this one as I said it is uh, 55 by 99 so it's quite long um, it also has a B drills but I'll open up the bag and let you see what that is just in case I know some people are new to this some people know what it's all about so I'll just try to find where to open it I always hate that part is it really loud so these are the drills or the diamonds or the dots and um, again if you're new you may expect people to call these the diamonds but in general they call them drills so if you see anybody or read anybody talking about drills this is what they're talking about so we have a lot of drills and I was going to see if I could find the ABs to let you see what they are yeah, okay. These are ABs. They've got a special coating on them that reflects the light even more. Uh, it's a sort of uh, oily effect. Um, the AB is short for Aurora Borealis because they sort of give pink and yellow and blue, just depending how the light hits them. So they use these uh, to give up that extra little bit of sparkle. Um, so they have uh, two, two different colours of AB in this kit. And uh, they have 43 colours in total in this one. Um, I'll just let you see the other ABs. So these are the other ABs, they're white, and you should be able to see, don't know if it shows that well on camera, but they have a definite extra iridescence, so they yeah, are very nice. Um, Diamond Art Club bags are a decent size, which I like. Uh, it's not these uh, little streams of bags that you get. 
they're a decent size and uh, they're all numbered with the DMC codes you can see 7961657437 so these are all the DMC codes and DMC is pretty much a standard way of uh, numbering colours the obvious example would be 310 uh, if you hear people talking about or see people writing about 310 they're talking about black uh, which is here so in the DMC code anytime you see 310 it's black and anytime you see for example 597 it's going to be this colour so it's a standard way of uh, of marking the colours so you know that you're using the right ones so that's the drills and this is the main part the actual canvas um, it's in a plastic bag which is sealed again diamond dark club do what makes you sparkle and I'll just open one end I'll probably have to use scissors just watch that I don't cut the canvas so this is the actual uh, Diamond Dark Club canvas now the very first Diamond Dark Club uh, canvas I touched um, I'll never forget sounds kind of weird but the canvas is so soft it is very different from any other uh, company's canvas it feels like velvet um, very very different and as you can see it's rolled it's poured glue uh, we have the clear canvas uh, the clear cover and I'm never going to fit this in because it's 99 centimeters wide but you can see how nice this is the thing that, that always stands out with Diamond Art Club for me is the way they blend the colors um, it'll be much more obvious once this is finished but they are just so good at blending in colors um, I did one um, called The Little Tin Soldier and it was really really nice so uh, as you can see it's quite long um, 99 centimeters but you can see we've got the main panel where the mermaid is and then we have these side panels as well and we have Little Mermaid here you can see her here and then we've got one on the other side as well down here and we've got some fish swimming around as well so I can't get the whole thing in but it is very very nice it's quite narrow um, 55 that's a reasonable size, it will fit on the table um, 99 long, so pretty big but very very nice and it looks nice already before the drills are on guaranteed once the drills are on it's going to look a hundred times better um, the, the drills for uh, Diamond Art Club are very uh, very nice uh, as I said, it's the way they blend the colours that I really like. They're just really good at doing that. And there is a lot of colour in this one. So poured glue, and that means that you don't have to worry about air bubbles because you either get poured glue or you get double-sided glue, uh, which is basically like a sheet of glue that gets laid down on top of the canvas sometimes they can get air bubbles trapped but because this glue is poured on you don't get that so you don't have to worry about that the canvas as you can see is very smooth and um, 
it's virtually ready to go. I would probably just tape the sides down and I could start straight away. It is very uh, soft, as I said. It feels really, really good. And uh, the key is very clear. No problems reading any of these. Some companies, it can be very difficult to read the symbols they have. Uh, for example, the last one that I did today, it had a very, very dark grey and the text of the icon was black and it was very hard to make out what the symbol was. But as you can see, no problem here because when it's a dark colour like that, 9, they put a white 9 on top of um, a dark brown. Some companies don't do that and they would put a black 9 on top of a dark brown which makes it hard to see. So we've thought that through. Um, like you see the symbols on the canvas, they are very, very clear. No problem at all reading that. So it's, uh, it's what I expected to be honest. Um, it's just really, really nice, and that's before anything's put on it. So you can see the mermaid. So that is it. Um, I need to put this in the to-do list. I've got quite a pile of to-dos. And I've got stuff that I want to get done before Christmas, so this is going to have to wait for a bit. But the reason that I got this is because I live in Copenhagen. And The Little Mermaid is a story that was written by Hans Christian Andersen, who is, or was uh, the most famous uh, author, Danish author. And he is buried in Copenhagen. So... Uh, I've sort of came up with a theme. I'm actually working on a custom at the moment of a picture that I took in Copenhagen. So uh, The Little Tin Soldier, that was another Hans Christian Andersen story. So I've got a sort of Copenhagen theme going on. Um, the other thing to mention is the artist. And the artist who uh, did the original artwork for this is called Mandy Manzano. And she does a lot of stuff for Diamond Art Club. And her her artwork works really, really well with diamond painting. Um, it's very distinctive and is very, very nice. So uh, that's pretty much it. So there you have it. The Serene Siren Triptych from Diamond Art Club. Another very nice piece. If you want to see more of Diamond Art Club, you can check them out at diamondartclub.com and if you want to see more of what I'm unbagging, unboxing, comparing, testing, whatever, please subscribe and hit the notification button and then you will know when I have a new video up. I still have a lot of things to do. So thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.